Well, this morning we're heading off. I mean, it's a bit icy, but it's nothing major. We're not iced in. And that's what we're thinking. We're thinking that as long as we're not iced in and we have access to facilities, let's just keep moving. And last year, as I showed you in the last vlog, coming back from Asia and then living on a narrowboat for the first time and then exploring for the first time, then we broke down. But then when we had the engine replaced, we kind of covered the same ground again, pretty much. And so we've decided to push on and do something that we've not done ourselves. And we're gonna we're gonna head to Wales. It's really busy where we're heading in the summer. So maybe if we get lucky with the weather, it'll be less busy, a little frosty, but quite pleasant. And I got to thinking that for all the travelling I've done, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Mozambique, Zanzibar, Jamaica, blah, 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 you know, Japan, Philippines recently, all over Europe, I realised I've never been to Wales. Alright, it's a bit icy this morning and the ice is making weird noises, but it's bound to, isn't it? It's only really thin ice, but I've never driven a boat through ice before, so. And winter's only just started, so I'm sure in certain stretches it'll get worse than this. Winter's not even really started. I'm sure there's going to be some stretches of uh, canal that'll be a lot icier than this. But from what I've been seeing from my quick jaunt to the supermarket, it's just on this little stretch where it's frozen. So hopefully that's the worst of it. Icebreaker Badger. So we've just left Faisley. I do like coming here. The people where we get the, uh, well we got the engine installed and all the people that sort of live there and in the surrounding areas. It's a super friendly area, nice people. I always like coming back here. It's a bit like our watery home from home. I'm not sure how far we're going to go today. On the route planner, Obviously it made out that we could do the, the whole run to the aqueduct in about a week, but I don't intend to do any such thing. I'm banking on conservatively around 12, 12 days to two weeks, because there's gonna be places I wanna stop along the way. My hands are gonna get cold, my toes are gonna to get cold, and I'm just not gonna be cruising for long, long days. So as long as we have access to what we need to have access to, water and waste disposal and beer and supermarkets and that optional extra which is food, then uh, I'm good. I think it's snowy. Oh, bugger. All right, bloody typical. It's been gloriously bright blue skies and crisp fresh winter days for the last few days and we were planning to set off yesterday but we were delayed with saying goodbyes and doing some shopping and then of course we set off today and there's ice on the canal it's snowing and it's cold but it's kind of all right because we're the only people on the canal and there's something nice about that having the whole place to ourselves. I'm in no real hurry, so my fingers and my toes and how cold they get will dictate how long we cruise for today. And I don't really intend to do more than three or four hours any day at the moment. And we're still in familiar territory, so I know where the upcoming mooring, potential mooring spots will be. But yeah, I've had worse days. Worst things happen at sea, you know. It's great. Now the last time 
we came this way, we were being towed by Keith and we were coming up towards getting the boat blacked. So it's quite nice to be doing it under our own power for a change. Of course, we did come back this way on the way to getting the engine replaced because we did manage to get the boat started heading that way. So this actually is the first time that we've been on this stretch of the canal with this engine under our own power. It's all good, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm not lying, it's getting a bit cold now. My fingers and my toes are feeling it. Oh, whose idea was this anyway? Let's go cruising in the winter, Cam said. To be fair, it's been fun. I've not seen a single boat passes today. They've all been moored up. So we've got the whole canal to ourselves. But I think this is, if this is anything to go by, I don't think any more than three hours a day is what I want to be doing. A um, little bit of progress every day. Yeah, not freeze my chuddies off. Ooh. Traveling in the cold if it's bright and fresh like this, this is all good. So let's see how far we get today. I'm hoping we'll get to where the whole adventure started to begin with. I don't mean the Philippines. This is a strange feeling. Mooching along at our usual three miles an hour, if that. And then right next to it is everyone's charging along at breakneck speed to get everything, whatever it is that they need to get done in their day. And it feels very much when you, especially if you live on a narrow boat, like you're almost in this kind of nether world that's kind of between worlds because that hectic rush doesn't seem to apply to us. reached Fradley Junction. It's going to top up with water and let Camille keep an eye on that. But I think, according to the map and the app, there's a facility around the corner to empty the dunny and our trash. But I don't want to carry it around there and find out I'm wrong. So I'm going to have a quick peek first. very close to where the adventure began. Right, now back in April, this was the first lock that Camille and myself ever did. And we had to ask the guy who lives in that building for a little bit of advice how to actually do it because we'd never done a lock before and 
And weirdly enough, he owns a boat that's called Mabuhai, which in the Philippines loosely translates to uh, long life. It's like a greeting. So kind of weird that we just come back from the Philippines and then the first lock that we ever did, we were assisted through it by someone who had also spent quite a lot of time in the Philippines as well and named his boat Mabuhai. Yeah, these are our little nostalgic memories already from our uh, short time living aboard an aeroboat on the canals in the UK. So, complete novice the first time we came through here. Now she's an expert. done for a while we've uh, this is day three by the way we woke up this morning dear, 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 dear. and it was bloody raining all morning and there's a bit of a break in it at the moment so I've popped outside I'm starting the engine to power the batteries up and we're going nowhere for a few days it's uh, gonna rain again this afternoon and, and tomorrow and after two two quite cold days of cruising I'm gonna spend the day getting toasty warm inside badge up and then we'll set off in a, in a day or so there's some closures further north as well um, that will reopen next week if they're on time so there's no rush so back inside to get warm and cheers to Kevin Reimer for using the buy me a coffee link but you said I could use it for coal and I've used it for coal so cheers for that Kevin and Indiana Jones Murat himself in the Philippines thanks for the beers I appreciate that for using the same link hope you're doing okay in the Philippines mate right until next time, we should be back on the move in the next vlog, but I'm going to spend a couple of a couple of days getting toasty warm inside, so you do the same. Catch you later.